Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video today. We've been sharing stories of different missionaries throughout history, and today we're gonna share a little bit of a heavier story. It's a little bit more intense. We're gonna talk about Richard Wormbrand. He lived under communism in Romania, and um, as so many church leaders around him were bending beneath the pressure that the communist government was applying to change the church and politicize the church, um, he stood boldly before many government officials, friends, co-laborers, just declaring the word of the Lord and calling people not to, not to change what the Bible was saying, but to abide by the truth the Lord was saying. And this led him to an eight-year season in prison, just undergoing unbelievable torture, unbelievable pain and difficulty, experiencing just... Um, just un unbelievable mental and physical pain. And um, even even the guards lying to him about his son, walking away from the faith, telling him that his, his wife, was, which was true, had been sent into hard labor camp, uh, where she just experienced very difficult things, but supernaturally he was released from prison. And he was released with hundreds of sermons that he had written, poems, he had led many people to the Lord, um, even through Morris Code in isolation, he was in isolation for a year, just such a man of faith and forgiveness and, and joy in the midst of pain and, and challenges. And right after he got out of prison, he fasted and prayed for three days, and then he went straight into, into preaching the gospel. I think this, this story of this father, and there are so many like him throughout history and even now today standing um, for their faith. We just realize our our lack and uh, our pain by our lack of, of strength and boldness and courage and love and forgiveness. And so as we as we just think about his story in a fresh way today, we're just we're just filled with longing. Lord, would you one, help us to stand in the midst of whatever persecution comes our way. And would you keep the heart of joy and love for you burning burning strong inside of us? Yeah, I'm thinking of Jesus' words in Matthew 5, 10 through 12. He said, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in mm -hmm. heaven. And and that we see in Richard Warmbrand's life. And mm -hmm. he had his eyes set on that reward. He had his eyes set on eternity. And, and, and yeah, we're humbled by his story and also encouraged to be, uh, be those that search out the Lord and keep our eyes mm -hmm. on eternity so that whatever pressure um, we may be under and, and even um, if persecution or torture would come to us that we would stand strong for the Lord and that that day when we would stand before the Lord that we would hear him say mm -hmm. well done good and faithful mm -hmm. servant come on in welcome in and this we we pray for ourselves mm -hmm. and we pray that for you as well yeah. that you we found faithful to the lord with your eyes locked on eternity mm -hmm. the joy um that is set before us and um and that you would hear that well done good and faithful mm -hmm. servant as well let's keep running this race together to the finish line until yeah. we see the lord yeah amen bless you all see you next time